Welcome to Wednesday's Daily Mail. A Labour MP has made quite a huck up. Oh, very good. Well, I didn't write it. I'm not sure that's like I think it's. I'm sure it's a hiccup rather than a uh, than anything more vulgar that's being uh, echoed there. But anyway, what's, what's okay? The story, well, so Simon? Rupert Huck, who yes. is the Labour MP for Ealing and Acton, said at a fringe meeting uh, at the Labour Party conference that the Chancellor Kwasi Kwarteng, who is the first Black Chancellor uh, in the UK, was only superficially black. Mm. And she went on to say, if you heard him on Radio Four, you wouldn't know that he was black. One of the things that really annoys me about this, and I hesitate to want to agree to some of the people who say these kind of things, what annoys me about that, though, is that uh, if I think about it in my own context, or I think about it in the suffragette context, the whole point about the suffragettes, which was a kind of leftish, liberal-leaning movement to get women the vote, meant that when women got the vote, they didn't all vote liberal left-leaning. They voted what they wanted to vote. When we fought for gay equality, we didn't fight to be the same. We all fought to be different. That was the point. The point was to be what you want. So it seems to me the point of making advances on racial discrimination is precisely so black people and brown people and other people of mixed races can do and be and think and vote yeah. and stand for what they want. So the idea that you somehow have to be left-wing to be black so or she's, she's in a minority... She's calling him a race traitor, isn't she? Which yes. is filthy language, And really. it's just awful. I cannot bear it. And, and this, it's this idea that many Minorities don't have a single voice. Mm. People say to me, they say, you know, are you LGBT? And I said, we can't be all of them. And also, actually, Rupa Huck herself, for what it's worth, was privately educated and went to Cambridge. So the idea that she represents some kind of grassroots representation of... Uh, but it's just this, it's this idea of, isn't it, where people say to me, sometimes you, you find somebody, uh, you say, well, what do gay people think? You say, well, I didn't go to the meeting on Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's like you would choose, you know, do, do you all get on though. Friday and phone each other? Black Actually, people, we do. Actually, you do. Oh, sorry, I forgot about conspiracy, is, of course. There is a, uh, an interesting... I suppose a conceit which she has struck, however cack handedly, is there any sense in which one should be more than superficially black? So, if, if this, the point of being black is that it's the colour of your skin. Are we saying that there is anything more than the colour of your skin which determines that you're black? No, well, what I would say too is that when we think of these categories, mm. whether it's LGBT or BAME or women or whatever, when you think of these categories, you have to describe. Just, you have to tell people what you're actually describing and therefore mm. what aspects of people's lives you're describing. So it seems to me it's perfectly reasonable that we all, you know, people who are not white experience discrimination on the basis of their colour. It may not be all day, but it's probably every day. But that is the only bit of their experience you're really explaining. Now, then yeah. you have to go into subcultural experiences and religious experiences and family background experiences, and everybody has different ones. Josh? Yeah, I mean, I mean, she and she's a victim of racism herself. She got sent stuff in the post, uh, these, like, noxious, uh, toxic packages that were sent to a bunch of MPs. But, um, the, you know, in her apology to him, she said it was ill-judged comments. No, it's a racist comment yeah. that she did. And this goes to the larger thing, that people on the left or the people who think they're in part of the community of the good have this blind spot that, that they can't possibly be racist. Yeah. And even a person of colour can't... Po and that's just not true. And even in this case, you know, I don't want to say go back, it starts with the Jews, but the fact is she has had a few accusations of anti-Semitism mm. levied against her from previous employees of, uh, of her who said... One of them said that he turned up and had a badge, a Star of David, on his bag, and she was like, going, well, why have you got a, uh, the Israeli flag? He's like, no, it's a Star of David, I'm Jewish, and wouldn't drop it. Uh, someone else, she took down a post saying that, um, that, saying that uh, there's no tolerance for anti-Semitism. She took it down when this person went off six hours. We don't need this anymore. She came to the defence. Yeah. Is it Nash, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Liked a bunch of anti-Semitic tweets. That he, so there, the, that, and that has been the problem with Labour, certainly before they're trying to... What well, This goes mm. back to this detoxifying thing, where people on the left sort of genuinely believe because they had left that it's impossible for them to be anything but, you know, they, I don't have a racist bone in my body, as Corbyn says, and they have this blind spot. And that's been the problem all along, is that, is that this unwillingness to accept that actually people of colour can be... Anyone can be racist. She has... I mean, she has apologised, and also she has been suspended, I think. She has yeah. been suspended. She's is, lost the whip, yeah. automatically, which is... Good. Which I suppose is exactly what should happen. But, as you say, it wasn't ill-judged. It was clearly thought through. It clearly represented She's what a she sociology. She was a sociology she lecturer. She is a very yeah. clever person, and... And there are other black spokeswomen... Uh, Shola... I remember the, the, her full name, the, the uh, sort of activist and provocateurs who, who appears on television oh. quite often, um, is saying that... Uh, Kwasi Karteng represents. He's a, a racial gatekeeper. Uh, this is that these people are appointed deliberately by the Tory party in order to present, you know, the acceptable face of, of black politics. I mean, it is absurdly toxic, isn't it, this kind of thinking? It's massively mindset. racist in its own yeah. right, yeah.
And David Lammy refused to talk about it. That is a first as well.